Reitolds and the classic car business uh, enthusiast auto group and Eric Keller. I sometimes see him advertise some cars that keep coming back to him. He has had that car several times over the course of let's say 10 years, every two, three years. He either buys it back or, or uh, the original owners or the second owners come back to him and ask him to uh, buy or sell it for them. And I always, I'm always awed by that. I'm like, wow, that's so cool. You know, he gets to, uh, he believes in these cars so much that he gets to always have them back to him. And uh, little did I know that only two and a half, three years later, after having done something like that myself, representing uh, classic cars, it happened to me as well. Uh, I'm now, after two and a half years, seeing a repeat clientele coming back, asking me to help them move their classic cars, which they originally bought from me, into new homes and new custodians. And uh, why do they do that after two, two, two and a half, three years? I guess, well, they've had it, they've owned it, they drove it, enjoyed it, or the situation in their lives uh, change, or they just want to move on to some other cars. But to me, that's an honor to be considered to be uh, uh, representing a car again for them which in the case of CSI 162, it has just happened again. This incredibly beautiful, only 39,700 mile car uh, was my very, very first presentation about two and a half, three years ago uh, for Mrs. Dave Richards. We sold it off to a great collector, Mr. Owen in Los Angeles, and uh, he has some incredible car in his collections, I'm talking classic Porsches, uh, Goldwing Mercedes, um, Ferrari Testarossa, Porsche GT3s, Mercedes, different Mercedes. So this one was in his collection for about two years. He happened to move with his family to uh, Australia because his wife is Australian and uh, I don't want to go too much into private stuff, but he's going to be there for a number of years. And uh, he asked me to help him uh, sell some of his collection because the cars are just sitting at home here he's not coming back for a while and they said it's a shame for the cars to sit so and I said well I'd, I'd love to because this is one of my absolute favorite cars CSI 162 is a one-off 1995 BMW 850 CSI in the world and I'm not talking about US spec, I'm not talking about Canadian spec, Euro spec. I'm talking about a color combination that was special ordered in, in December 94 uh, for the 95 models. In January of 95 it was delivered for a uh, couple in Palm Springs uh, who ordered Daytona Violet on Lotus White Daytona Violet two-tone interior. We have documentation on this and it is the only one in the world and I'm not joking, like this is it, it's standing right here. If anything happens to this car, if this car gets shipped off to Mars, there won't be anyone like it. It has been well kept by all its four owners. In the past couple of years, I think I put most of the miles on it, having driven it on film, photographed it, uh, been in Paso Robles with it, uh, been down here in LA at the studio with it, photographed it several times, as well as maintaining the car. So last time around when we sold it off, uh, it was very well sorted, but in these past two years, Tony and I have um, done a uh, paint correction on the car. I had the rear bumper repainted because of uh, there were some scratches. The car itself all around has uh, original paint. Uh, we did a transmission fluid service on it. We did a uh, oil service and uh, other fluids on it. I've checked all the suspension. Everything is in good order. There will be photos on that. I uh, refreshed the leather um, using um, color lock technique. I had the phone replaced. I had the radio replaced and I put a brand new ashtray into the car and we uh, had the um, headliner repaired as well. So the car is now even more sorted than it was two, two and a half years ago. I couldn't be more proud to be representing this car again and now between myself, original owner Andrew, Dave and Tony, 
we have babied this car like there's no tomorrow. I don't know much about the original owners, unfortunately. All I know is that uh, it, was a, it was a couple in uh, Palm Springs, and um, they sold it to my friend Andrew after a few years. July 2020, we're ready to send it off to a new collector home, and I would be more than happy to uh, help sort out, maintain anything that need, will be needed afterwards, uh, if ever. Hopefully it'll stay close by so I can have it close by as well. But uh, the car drives, shifts, and handles like there's no tomorrow. Everything is well sorted. There's no suspension issues, no engine issues, no transmission issues. Basically ready to go. Uh, we had the seat motors fixed as well. So all you have to do is just turn the key, make sure you maintain it well, drive it with health, and enjoy it for the rest of your days. My name is Alec Cartio. I'm with Cartiology, and I'm looking forward to uh, sending this beautiful car to your home. Take care. Touch, feel our bodies drifting up